So I just got back from dinner. Plugging my phone in. And I am going to just finish up the live that I had to cut off earlier, but I wanted to move some things around and play with my machine more. So tonight's kind of just a fun night, I guess you could say. I want to put my light on the machine. Still have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to try and we're going to do it together. So I hope you guys are having a fun Friday night. Hi Pia, who's here? Let's see. Hi Connie. I figured I would just come back on and play with it a little bit more. I want to move things around. I already got another extension cord over here so that I can move it over here and then hopefully it doesn't create a disaster, which it probably will, but whatever. Hi, Nero. <laughs> I know, I'm so excited for the new machine. Okay, so cheers to Friday night and new machines and new fun times. I'm so excited. All I could think about at dinner was coming home to play. And it actually worked out perfect because as soon as we got home, we ended up going to three different places because there were weights. We didn't realize obviously it was Friday night and we didn't make a reservation. So everyone is like super duper excited to be out and about because of COVID and everything. So restrictions are becoming lesser and lesser, at least where we live. And so people are just excited to be out. So there was so many people out tonight and we had our boys, our girls were not with us tonight, but the boys were and they're younger. So, you know, when you take little kids, they want to eat and they want to just eat and be done so we had to hurry but the first two places we went to had a 45 minute wait so I said no thanks move on to the next same thing 30 to 45 minutes no thanks moved on to the next and it was finally like a 20 minute wait so we're like well we don't really have an option so 20 minutes it is so we didn't end up getting home until like a little after 8 and then we had to brush teeth do the whole bedtime thing and put them down so I'm out here now and I'm excited to go. So I'm gonna start by, I think I'm plugging all of this stuff and transferring it over. So this is going to be a completely different live from me than you guys are used to. This is going to be a just relaxing Friday night. I'm basically redesigning my little area over here. And we're gonna sew a little bit. I'm just gonna practice some zigzag stitches on here, see how it does with that. And yeah. It's messing around night, so hopefully you guys are in in it with me. I'm gonna move you guys over here a little bit so that I can start moving stuff. Okay, let's see. So first I have to move this area right here. So I just turned my computer off. What does this go to? Okay. So now we're gonna put my whole like computer area over where the machine's at now. And yeah. So I actually might want to completely switch out this. So, hold on. I'm switching this one completely over because it has USBs on it and I need the USBs. Let's see, how am I going to do this? 
this. Do I even need this right here? I really don't even need this one right here. Oh my gosh. I have so much thread down here, guys. I don't think anything else is connected here. This is just this cord. This is to the computer. Lots of cords. So many cords. Oh, somebody wanted me, Shana, I don't know if you're on here. You wanted me to show you this again. This is just the like little outlet thing that I got. It has all the USBs on it. And you can, I guess, power them on and off with whichever one you want to use. So, pretty cool. Let's see. Who is here? Aw, thank you, Pia. That's so sweet. I actually put makeup on today. <laughs> I should be working, but my serger broke. Needles twice. Yikes. Now I'm pretty sure the chain... Aw. That stinks. I'm so sorry. Scrunchies production and a few restocks. Right now I'm flipping and threading. Alas, it's good. Well, this live is going to be very casual. So hopefully you guys can work while you just listen to me move stuff around. Kind of just a little Friday night hangout, I guess, is what we can call this, this live. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys, I did order extra. I got 20 of the bobbin cases so that I can pre-wind them. That way they're already pre-wound. I got extra needles. I don't know if you guys can see that. I ordered the 9014. Um, these are just the needles that my machine takes. And so I wanted to try them. And I got a shearing foot. I hope, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, shearing foot for like, kind of like ruffles, not ruffles, but like waistbands. So I'm going to try new waistbands and see if I like it. Okay, wish me luck. Hopefully this doesn't get crazy. What I didn't think about was all this back here that I need. put it on that table. That'll be fine. We'll see. Let's see how it happens. I don't know. So this table I actually put caster wheels on so I can just like move it when I need to, like right now. But it's stuck in the groove. There we go. Let's move this guy. And I actually, I don't know if any of you guys remember, on one of my lives a while ago, I got this new tripod and I could not figure it out and I was very sad, but I figured out how to use it. So this is actually really cool if you want to do like overhead recording. of my vinyl that I don't use 
that I need to use because I haven't touched it. What is happening? <sighs> mobilizing. We are mobilizing. Looks so much bigger when I move stuff. Okay. Who's here now? I'm assembling wedding invitations. Nice to see you working with your machine. Thank you so much. That seems like a fun thing to do. Wedding invitations. I got one of the USB outlets adapters, but smaller, three sources, but it's so hot when you have it connected to the computer. It scares me, so don't use it. Oh, yikes. Okay, I'll look out for that. Hmm. Hi, Paulette. How are you? What size needles does everyone use on the brother's serger? I sew mostly knits and have always used 9014. Um, is it Andrea? I always use 9014. And I use stretch. These are the ones I use right here. So I only have one in here, but you get the idea. So these are the ones I use 9014 stretch. Okay, I'm sure to move this sucker. So these are the caster wheels that it came with, but I haven't put them on yet. going to be perfect, actually. Okay. Yes, I like it. Hmm. Except I think I have to use that other one over here. Because it has um, a longer distance for the plug-in. And this is a, a very long cord. So I need it to be a little bit longer to plug in. So I'm gonna have to switch it back. These ones are nice because they have like the USB and then the plug, which is super nice.
I know where to put this for now. Let's see right here. I'm probably gonna get like a little drawer. Actually, you know what? Does this fit underneath? Here? No, of course not. Why would it? Because I had all of my like tags. This drawer. I had setting like right behind me so I could just grab it and like these are my girl tags and my boy tags and I would just grab from them but I don't want to like I don't want to make this all cluttered Because this machine is where I'm going to be putting like all my sizing tags and everything like that on. Um, so that's what my plan is. Every machine I have has a specific like, I guess, duty. I don't know if you want to call it that, but they have their own purpose. So this machine was going to be um, for my waistbands and then adding all my logos and tags on and then sewing like all of my bibs and burp cloths, so like all of these. Um, so straight stitch and zigzag stitch is basically what this machine is going to be doing. That machine over there I use for my blankets, so I don't really need this whole table um, because I have that one for the blanket table back there. So I guess I'll just leave this like this for now. And if I I'll probably end up getting like a smaller like um, caddy, like this one right here. I don't know if you can see it, but just a smaller one that can like fit underneath the table because there's a good like 15 inches or whatever, like to slide one under there. So I'll probably try to find one like that that I can just go sideways in. And then all of this is all So excited. I've always kind of wanted my computer over here anyway, so. I guess it's better.
it's nice to have caster wheels on everything so you can just move it when you need to move it. And I just tuck them in sideways so that I don't like trip over them. Now it's like in place. This is so weird right here. I'm not used to it. Watch, I end up changing it back. <laughs> I probably won't. So now, I'm going to put this back under here. Okay. I'm going to move you guys over here. not charging. What's going on? So 
I was looking at the manual and I'm trying to figure out the zigzag stitch. So it came with this really cool light and it actually comes with your machine so you don't have to purchase it separately it comes with it i'm pretty sure now <laughs> i started thinking about that i'm like wait did it or didn't it i'm pretty sure it did So it like clamps to your desk. I think I'm gonna put it there. Should I read the directions? I hate reading directions. How do you do this? That's like super nice, guys. Really good light. You can like do it however you want it.
So it comes with like an adapter, but my plug-in already has a USB because it's a USB adapter. But my plug-in already has that down here, so I don't need the one they gave me. I can just use that one. And then somehow try to hide all these dang cords. <laughs> Too many cords. Okay. Let's move my drink. I don't want my drink over here. Let's see. On the feed plate over to the left is a small groove. Try to pull that out. You might see the bobbin from the top of the machine. Um, over to the left is a small groove. There is, but it's like in the machine. Let me show you. This right here. Is that what you're talking about? You got my name right, okay. I think that's what I got, so I don't know why they're breaking. Party machine a couple days ago, I've been playing around with it. Hi Amber, this is my first time catching you live. Hi Destiny, welcome. Hi Carmen, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Or talk to you in forever. Awesome, another live. I thought it was the upload from earlier. Nope, I decided to come back on tonight just because I was out here and just kind of wanted to mess around and do a little bit of a more casual live. Where did I find the extension cord with the USB ports? Amazon. I'm going to link them after this live because I have a few questions on it from the last live. So I'll just go ahead and link it for you guys. It wasn't very expensive and it has a lot of... I think there's like six or seven ports on it. Good night, Carmen. I was looking into drawers to mount underneath the table to add to in things and use an area to keep it. Yes, I know. I hate my tables cluttered. Table, it will raise it higher and maybe the cart will fit. Oh yeah, that's true. I just, yeah, that is a good idea. Okay, so Marissa, I got I get all my tags from Etsy from a shop called uh, Mountain Street Arts, but apparently I was told that she doesn't take any more new customers because I guess they're overflowed. Um, she's only kept all her past clientele or customers. I always call them clientele. Um, so just search in Etsy whatever kind of tags you want. Like when I was looking, I just searched... Um, so in clothing labels organic because i wanted them organic and they came up so just search whatever you're looking for and you should find some can you make an area on the shelf next to the fabric yeah the only thing i can make it i can make room on there the only thing is is i like it right next to me when i'm sewing so that i can just grab the tag and sew it in grab the tag and sew it in and i don't have to keep like getting up and down so that's why i do that I know, I need core drops for sure. I'm so glad to catch you live. I just watched your new video. It was awesome. Congrats on the new industrial machine. What a great acquisition. Thank you so much. I am super excited for this machine. And I don't know what messages got deleted, but they were probably meant to be deleted. Thank you so much, McGee. What if you put the lamp on the back side of the table? Yeah, I thought about that, but look, it's right up against this table, so there's no room. I guess I could put it behind here. That might work better. I mean, it's fine right here. I just didn't want it to get in the way of this, but it's not even touching, so my hand is going behind it, so it should be fine. Okay, Paula, what were you saying about this right here? What do I do with that? 
to get access to the bobbin, slide that plate over. I have to use strong tweezers to slide it. I stick them in that hole and push it over. Push it which way? Push it like that way? Away? Okay, let me try that. I'm gonna set this down, hold on. you guys right here. You guys are right next to me now. Okay, hold on. Oh, it does. It just slid, but oh, there we go. But that's still so weird because like, how do you grab it like that? Like I can see it, but It's so weird how they put it right there. Cause like it's, let me show you. It's like, if I put my hand right here, like how do I grab that? There's like no really good access to that unless I lift it up and pull it from underneath. Put a hand under the machine. Okay, I see what you mean. Got it. I see, I see. See, that is why I did this, so that I would be able to figure this out. To get access to the bobbin, you go under the table. There's a little over on the bobbin that you pull towards you and it comes out. Yeah, so I actually had that kind of bobbin on my very first machine. So I know like how to do that. I just don't, I just didn't know how to get it out, I guess. But now I know. Okay. So now do any of you guys know, does anyone have this machine? Or are you guys just telling me from what you know of your machines? Yeah, and the embroider machines have those kind too, yeah. You have a Juki. The little plate is more so you can see where you're reaching for. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, because I was like, how do you pull it out from there? You can't really do that. Okay, so zigzag. Do you guys know how to do zigzag on this machine? Look at it. I don't know if you can tell me how to do it. So I'm thinking it's this right here. And I think that these are how big I want the zigzags. I'm not sure, I was reading it in the manual. Let me grab it real quick. Okay, so, so this is literally the only thing it has in the manual. They should have been more descriptive for especially people like me who have never had an industrial and I didn't, I don't know how to, I mean, I guess that's why they have YouTube, right? But this is literally the only thing they have on a uh, zigzag. So what I'm guessing is this right here, or no, this down here, is the placement of the zigzag. So if it's over here, it's gonna start all the way over to the, the right and go to the left. It's just gonna be in the middle, and if it's on the left, it's gonna start on the left and go out. So left, right, and then this one's right, left. Um, but I don't know how to start the zigzag is what I'm trying to figure out. Because right now it's on straight stitch. So... 
So. I'm going to try it, I guess. Let me grab some fabric. trying to grab some fabric that I can practice with. Okay, this one's pretty dark, so we can practice with this one. Doesn't the round thing to your right have the zigzag on it? This? No. It's literally just straight stitches. And I guess it's calibrating. I don't know what that means when it does that. Right here. What does this mean? If I press those, I don't know. <laughs> you guys, I'm such a newbie at this. This is kind of like not my comfort zone. I don't like change because I know what I know and then I just stick with it. So this was a huge change for me, but I love it. Hi, Heidi, how are you? We're just kind of trying to figure this machine out. Okay, so this is just to set up, I guess, your um, positions and stuff and what you want. So this has a memory, so it's like my Janome that if I shut the machine off and turn it back on, it'll remember what I did last, which is nice, but I'm gonna be jumping back and forth between straight stitch and zigzag, so I really probably won't probably won't really use it. I just really want to figure out I guess I'm just going to mess with it. The number on the knob is stitch, stitch length, yes. I haven't even tried YouTube yet because I literally just got it today, but I'm going to probably have to look on there and see if they have anything on this machine. I think this machine's new. I'm not really sure. I never heard of it, so not sure. When I bought both of my six needle embroidery machine, I picked one that was the same as one of my others so that there was no learning curve. Yes, exactly. So once I learned this and I needed another one, I'm probably going to get the same one because <laughs> that's how I am. And same with the embroidery machine, my 10 needle. I was so upset when they're not selling that one anymore because I already know that one like the back of my hand. So I'm like, what am I going to do? I don't want to have to learn a whole new one over again. But then I thought like, well, obviously I taught myself how to use this one. I could probably do it again. I just, you know, I guess I'm being lazy and I don't want to. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to, I guess this, I'm going to put this down and try my knee lift because that's a cool feature. Whoa! <laughs> well, my thing is up now. So always on the up position, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to that. That's weird. I'm not used to that, I've never had that before. So it feels funny. And I feel like because there's a huge like um, pedal on the bottom, I feel like if I put any weight on it, it's just gonna start going. Does anybody else feel that way? Okay. 
Okay, so. That's, I guess, the longest it goes. Why did it do that? It got all knotted in the back. Um. So I'm going to try lowering it, I guess, to a three. It's also so quiet, like probably not quiet to you guys on here, but like compared to my other machines, I feel like it's so quiet. Is that how industrials are though? Okay, so that's a little too small for my liking. So I'll probably like it at a four. Yeah. So four is nice. Well, I don't know what this, so I read in the manual that this thing right here is for, I guess you can lock it or unlock it and it'll, I guess, make your straight stitches nicer. Does anyone know what I'm talking about there? Your handle above your needle position is for zigzag. Oh. This? I thought that was for like tension or something. This? To the right. This? Okay, this is zigzag. Okay. So then what's this? I'm going to try it. So, do I just move it? <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Do you have to hold it like that the whole time? It's all oily. My needle's up. All the way. What are these? Let me see. So those are the width of the zigzag. One and two. The width of the zigzag is a lot of control, spring based stitch regular length. Okay, do not make any needle position adjustments on the needles in the fabric. Okay. So. Yeah, I just don't know how to start it though. It's so weird. You guys, I'm so confused. Seems like if you push the handle to the right or left and turn the dial next to it, it will go to the length of the stitch. I'm gonna try that, I guess. I heard some noise, so I don't know. Nope, it's still straight.
You have to hold it. That shouldn't be right. It started zigzagging when I held it and did it, but why do you have to hold it to do that? That doesn't make sense. So now that goes the biggest. If you don't, the biggest is all the way over. That doesn't make sense. If that's the case, then I don't like that. <laughs> so as I held it and went over more and more, it got smaller and bigger. And it does it like fine, but I don't want to have to hold it because my hands are going to be holding my item I don't know when you start sewing let go without stopping the machine loosen the thumb screws at the top right side like all the way end of the lever then tighten it back up Oh, so do this and then however much I want it. Ah, see, you guys are helping me. exactly the length I want it so it just lines up right in that corner so I guess it's like in the middle length and I like that that's perfect okay so then when I want to go back to straight stitch I just let it go let's try So good. Now I know what this does. Do you guys know what the side thing does over here? are funny okay the last whoop you don't want to see my face this thing right here I need to figure this out so I think I got everything else figured out because these are for the zigzags this is zigzag this is straight stitch this is the needle position reverse and then I guess this is to wind the bobbin if it will focus and tension It's weird that they put like a plastic handle on a very heavy duty machine. I feel like I'm going to break it. Some sort of clamp that locks the needle bar. Yeah, that's what it said in the thing. Um, that is your needle bar lock. Make consistent straight stitches with the needle bar locking mechanism. Yeah, that's what it said in the manual, but I don't know like it should, does it go down or leave it like this up. Or you just twist it, twist it right or twist it back. It says it right here.
Twist it back to release it. Okay, so twist it forward to tighten it, to make it straighter. Twist it back to release. Your second spool of thread goes to the bobbin winder you were asking in your earlier live. My Juki winds the oven while I'm sewing, so I always have a full one ready when I run out. Okay. So you can just, okay, I get it. You don't have to undo the whole thing. You just do it through here and it rounds it. Okay. Got it. Why would you want to release it though? Wouldn't you want to just keep it tight if you're just sewing? Is the knob to attach a foot? No. No, I guess on these, you probably just have to unscrew them and put new feet in. They don't have, doesn't look like they have the, doesn't look like they have the snap-in kind, although I could be wrong. It just looks like you have to unscrew it. Don't know. All right, well, I'm going to sew some bibs because I have so many of them to sew, so. Let's do it. Okay. Where do I wanna put all this stuff? I'll put it back here. I'm just grabbing some stuff I saved this huge pile from my last, not the live I did today, but the live I did before. All these burp cloths need to be done. So, I guess I'm going to do that, or try. Okay, so do you guys recommend, I usually sew with my fleece down you guys recommend sewing it up or down does it matter there's a quick change I got for my juki easier than a screw every time okay you'll have to let me know about that Alyssa because that would be nice your machine is very similar to the console industrial that I had. Yeah, I was going between the console and then the reliable. So she sold me on this one because of what I, I guess, because of what I sew. I'm not sure. But I just went with what she said because I've never gotten one. And I trusted her on my 10 needle and I love my 10 needle. So I said, okay, I'll just trust you again. So I did and I love it. I need to grab my needles. Okay. I'm so afraid I'm gonna step on the pedal down here. Hi, Sandy. I wish I could link a quick charge here, quick change here. Do you have my, are you on Instagram? Just send it to me on Instagram. My Instagram is bingham underscore bliss, if you guys don't know. Okay, so I already don't like this right here. I think. I'm going to put this right here, maybe.
moving stuff around already. Let me put this right here. I think that should be fine for now until I figure it out. Just noticed you were alive as I was about to go to bed. Go to bed! You're probably so tired. It's super late. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Wish me luck. It's on four. Okay. like grabbing the this says not to change anything while it's in the air or in the fabric so I'm just gonna go up a little Is this the, this is the tension, right? Good night, Paula. Thanks for coming. Good night, Sandy. I think I have company. You I'm on a live. I, I thought so. <laughs> I should have one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I have company, guys. <laughs> they can't see you. This yeah, is my new no, machine. You can, yeah, but you can. I can see you. See you I am saying hi. Yeah. Hi. That's your machine. You this moved everything machine. without me. That's huh? Impressive. You moved up. You I like, did. I I set it up different because I wanted it to be over here. So I'm trying it out. I'm messing with the tension and stuff because you can see it's like all weird. Did it work? It's, like, work, it's move, working. Moving both sides? You it's good? working. Um, yeah, I still have a lot, so a lot of... Are people like watching you yeah. right now? Yeah. You want to go say hi to the people watching right no. now? <laughs> how, how many do you have watching? I don't know. There's 80 on here right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like the lights. I know. It's right? Right? right. Yeah, the lights. Yeah. We did that like what, two weeks ago? Well, Easter. Yeah. And it's working good. Yeah. Well, it's working good. You can't look at them because you go blind. Yeah. Don't worry about that. That's not bad. Yeah. Just because they're orange. I, I trust you. You're good. Yeah, just because <laughs> they're orange. Okay, love you, Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, so that was the tension and it made it look a lot better, but I'm just gonna mess with it a little bit more. It's not as easy with this machine as it is with my other. Just because I don't I have, I need to mess with this stuff, the settings a little bit more. See how it does this? It didn't do that in my other machine, so I need to mess with it and figure it out. Trial and error.
gonna need a little bit of getting used to. I mean, I didn't do bad, but it's definitely not my standards, I guess you can say. It's a little bit wavy. I don't like that. So I'm going to have to mess with it a little bit more. I sent you a message on Edge the with a link to the quick change. Oh, thank you so much, Alyssa. It seems as though your presser foot has too much pressure on it. The presser. This right here. So, do I change this? Do I need to change this piece? You can lessen the presser of the foot, then I'm on the top, unscrew it a little. Okay, right here. All right. We'll just keep trying and messing with it. Good night. Love you. Yes. Good night. Love you. I'm going to try it this way too to see if this is better. I'm also going to move the needle a little bit more in the middle. Yeah, I want it in the middle. That's a lot better. It's not, it's laying flat now. It's not wavy. So this is how I sew it on the other machine with this down on the table. Way easier. sew right over my needles, but I'm a little bit nervous to do it on this machine. The other machines are like, you know, like hundreds of dollars, not thousands of dollars. So it's a little bit different. <laughs> But this was key. And that's my reverse lever, I guess, right there. And my favorite part is that it's just like level with the table. I love that. So that one lays way nicer than the other one. Like, look at the difference. They're like way different. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can't see that. So like, this is the first one. Look how like, it's like wavy almost. See that? And then this one is not at all. It's way different. So much better. So now I'm going to move the needle back to see if it was that issue so that I don't have to trim anything. I hate trimming. So I always go as close to the edge as I can without having to trim.
You will get it working. Also, you can lift the presser foot with your left knee. I know, I keep trying to do that, and then I keep getting, like, confused on it because I have never had that, so it's so different. <laughs> you can also wind the bobbin with a second thread. Yes, thank you, Brenda. You just have to keep playing with it. Yes, I'm, I'm going to play with it for a while. <laughs> when you iron the fabric it should be flat yeah it will but i just like it to be flat when i'm sewing it because i know if it's wavy like that then the tension's too high my juki has an auto needle positioner so it stops in the down position so i can turn corners quickly so handy Ooh, that would be nice forgot to take that out. So I just did something and it automatically like lifted it up. So I don't know what I did, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to figure that out again. Okay, so it was just the tension because now I did it basically, what is that, a quarter of an inch when it's all the way over and it looks perfectly fine. So yay, we're getting it. I really don't know what I just did, but that was pretty cool. It did it again. I wonder if I just left my foot up if it, when it does that. thread broke in the middle of something. It got stuck in here. Hopefully I know how to re-thread it because I haven't really threaded this yet. I mean I threaded it earlier but it was already pretty much threaded so let's see. I don't even know how it broke. It just broke. It's weird. Okay, so it's already in there. So it had me go. Do I start on the top one and go down or start on the bottom one and go up? Because it had it like weaved in throughout it. The hole to the left is the light, and I love mine. The what? Oh. What 
What do you mean the hole to the left? I didn't even turn my light on yet. How do you turn this on? Oh, sorry. though I like the light 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 oh I think you can change the temp there you go that's nice it looks like I'm throwing the pins across the room <laughs> They're in here, I promise. You touched the knee lift. White button on the right of the needle will bring the needle up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys are telling me all the tricks. Try pressing down on the pedal with your knee slightly. I don't know what I'm doing. So many things. I bet your heel. Probably, yeah. You pulled towards heel brace at the time. I pulled toward me? What do you mean? If you push the foot pedal with your heel, does it lift it up? I don't know. I think it does, yeah. It goes right to left on the, the hole in the back of the machine. I know, right? <laughs> hill back, hill down backwards on the pedal. It did it before, but now it's not doing it. So I'm sure that's what it is. Okay, so now I got to figure this out. So where's the, the manuals over there? I think it was just... Am I doing this right, guys, or is it the top first? Does it go like that? Like in, out, back. I don't know if I'm doing that right. My light is a clamp, so it clamps on the table, it, and then it goes up over like that. It's a clamp. It doesn't go in the table. Going down backwards will lift the foot if your machine is set up for that. I think your foot needs to be down for it to lift it. Got it. Push down on the bottom of the pedal. Oh 
Aw, how sweet. Right to left, top down on the thread. Okay, so I did have it right. They're also testing my eyes, right? <laughs> I think it's so weird that it just goes like right over this. There should be like something right there. And then I'm guessing you just I don't know what I'm doing. Just go through those tension discs, I guess. I mean, we'll see. I don't know. My husband took pictures and he's inside, so. You guys are troopers for sticking with me on this. <laughs> okay. Think I got it? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, if I got this the first time without even knowing what I'm doing, then that's pretty good. <laughs> But I didn't. <laughs> I can already tell. No, what happened? Ugh. It goes down and then through the tension disc. There should be a threading diagram on your mantle. Yeah, I'm about to grab it right now. What time zone are you in? It is 10.30 here right now, so I'm PST, Pacific. Let me grab my, my manual really quick because I did it wrong. B. 
up C, down D. Oh, I see, okay. Huh. I did it all wrong. So I guess you're supposed to go through here. This handle is in the way. I want to like rip it off. Through there. Okay, and then you go down. So through there, around the tension disc. I'm guessing. So up here. Down through there. through there. This really like makes you focus. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work either, but we'll try. I don't wanna mess my thing up, so I'm grabbing this to practice. Yeah, it is putting your heel back the opposite way. Okay, so that's how you thread it. All right. So let me take a note of that. So I went down, through there, around, up, down, and through there. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Someone, <laughs> someone commented that it was like a little girl on Christmas morning on my last live, and I was like, yes, that is exactly what it was. Yeah, I'm wishing with arrows. I agree. I cut and tie on a new color to pull through so I don't have to rethread. That means you will have to rethread the manual. Yeah. I said that's no option to thread up. Alexa, thread my machine. <laughs> yes. That's why you keep your manuals.
keep thinking the thread broke because this is like loose right here. But then it's sewing fine, so I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just like that. where it just pops your knee up or your heel and then it pops up it's really cool <laughs> did I really <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> oh my gosh she does it to me all day long. And then I like start yelling at her. I'm like, I didn't say that. So the only thing on the other machine, my Junomi, it has a locking stitch. And so I don't have to back stitch ever. It just locks it. Which I'll use machine and start getting faster, but yeah. It's just little things like that that you get used to on a machine. Maybe I'll still use that other machine for this kind of stuff, and then I'll just use this machine for something different. What I am going to have to teach myself is how to do waistbands again because I'm so used to doing it on my other machine where I can take the arm off and then do the waistband around it. This one doesn't have that. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that or just do my waistbands on that machine. But that literally defeats the purpose of me buying this machine. So and there you go. But I've already sewn up like this many. One, two, three, four, five, six. smooth.
I have a trash can under there, so don't think I'm just throwing it on the ground. What is my favorite item to make? Um, let me think. I love loveys. They're just so cute and so soft and small and easy and quick and people love them. Same with bummies. Bummies are such an easy, quick thing to sew up. Rompers are my best seller but they also take the longest they're not hard at all they just take long time because there's so many different parts to them they have four different pieces plus cuffs and then snaps and so it just takes a while but they're super fun to make and when i just get into a zone i'll just make them make them make them but they take a while compared to my other products same with the skirts. You would think skirts would be sewn up like real quick, but they're not. The way I do them, they take a little bit of time. Um, but yeah, I love the blankets. I just love the outcome of them. So the blankets and the loveys are just like, I think one of my favorites. Oh, they do make a lock stitch? Nancy, I'm loving my new toy too. So excited. <laughs> you will be an expert at tomorrow. I'm going to be up all night playing with this. My husband's going to be like, are you going to come to bed yet? I'm like, nope, not yet. <laughs> Is there a silver disc on top? It has two holes that your thread goes through there. Yeah, that was already, it was already um, threaded through there. So I didn't have to re-thread that piece. But yes, you're correct. Your life that I made like a ASAP extension table. I love how smooth you're able to work on a flat surface. Yeah, so if you don't have an industrial, go to Sew Steady. That's where I got my extension table for my Janome that I sew my blankets on. It's like, think 28 by 32, I believe. It's a big table and it literally is just like this, um, but it sits on top of my table, but it's flush with the machine. So it just goes right through it and it's perfect. That's why I do all my blankets over there. <laughs> Alyssa, that's what I do when I watch lives. I'm like, I gotta concentrate and I can't. Not sure if my brother Runway has one though, but it looks like it's much more productive. Yeah, the extension table. Um, so steady makes them and they can make it to whatever machine you have. I'm going to try this knee lift thing. I think let me try it. It's just weird. You know, when you're used, when you're not used to something and then you try it and it just feels awkward. Like I'm afraid I'm going to push my foot. I did it, but it's just weird. for the shop I'm in locally. I've thought about bringing them back into the shop, which I probably will, but not, so like these are just random cotton prints that I got at like Hobby Lobby. 
that I make for the shop. Um, but I think I'm going to bring bibs and burp cloths back to my shop online, my website, except I'm only going to do it in matching with the organic cotton knit to match the outfit that the person buys. So if they buy like a skirt or a, le a legging or a bummy or whatever, and they want a bib to go with it, it's going to match that print that they bought. So that's my plan. Because so I'm going to start doing like more sets is what I want to do. Lovies are definitely super cute, yeah. You can sew flat, not on the round, so your seams join. You can sew flat, not on the round, so your seams join. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I'm gonna think about that for a second. machine do you have that you're working on now surely this is my brand new machine it's a reliable 2300 sc industrial machine i just got this today so i'm just testing it out and i've been messing with it all night and day just trying to figure out the settings and stuff on it so that's what i'm doing right now Lifting the needle with my heel. Is that what you're talking about, Alyssa? I've already gotten used to that a little bit. Okay, so I have a question. Where do I oil it? It said in the manual, but I didn't really understand it. It showed like the areas to do it, but I didn't really, the manual isn't that clear, to be honest. had a what sail right machine like that and I love it you can use the magnetic seam guide yes I love a magnetic seam guide I have one on my other machine the front part of the cuff and back side of the cuffs join at the seam yes oh yeah where you're talking where I always break my needle yeah Don't forget to backstitch before and after you start. I know. I've been trying to remember because my other machine I do these on has a lock stitch. And so I'm just used to not doing it. And so I just keep remembering to have to do that on here. How often in comparison to a home machine do you have to oil it? Um, in my manual, it says to oil it basically every time you use it or every time you go to use it, like so probably every day, depending on how much you use it, but I'm gonna probably be using it a lot every day, so I'll probably, I'll probably oil it every morning. It 
It would probably help too if you used your knee to lift instead of reaching back to lift up the handle. Yeah. Okay, yeah, to lift the needle and lift the presser foot. Is that what you're talking about? Where did you get your machine from? Sorry, I'm late. No, it's okay, Shirley. So um, I got this machine from sewingmachinesplus.com. I'm actually an affiliate for them. So um, my link to this machine, if you want to look at it, is in my description box. And if any of you guys on here are interested in any of the machines that Sewing Machine Plus carries, please, please reach out to me so I can give you my affiliate link because it will help you save some money. So please don't forget to let me know if you're planning on purchasing a machine so that you can get a little bit of a discount and it'll help you, it'll help me. And it's not, um, you can get your supplies there, you can get machines there, they have everything there. So I get my sewing supplies there, like I've gotten my needles there, I've gotten my thread there. Um, this thread that I'm using on here, I get at Joann's. It's just the Guterman thread, cone, serging cones. And I like that thread, so that's the thread that I use for serging. My self told me that I could use that thread on this machine, that it would be fine if I didn't change it up because I do like it. Um, I'm sure eventually maybe I'll try a different one. I don't know. I've just never had any issues with this one, so I really like it. Um, but yeah, I get pretty much... Everything now to do with embroidery and sewing from them because they have like a whole supplies list. Um, my sticky back stabilizer, I love getting it from there because you can get it in like a giant roll and that's what I do. Um, instead of buying it like in little portions, I'd rather just get a big giant roll of it. I think it's like 40 yards or something. I'm not sure, but it's, it's a massive amount. And so then when I ordered this machine, I actually ordered another roll. That way I could just order everything at one time and not have to worry about it. Um, so yeah. Seems awkward now to use the knee lift or the heel lift, but once you get used to it, it will save you time. Yes, I'm going to keep practicing that because it seems very convenient. Leah, can you uh, message me privately, please? And we can figure out what machine you want to get. So if you guys have, if you guys are serious about getting a machine, please DM me. You can either message me on Instagram, you can email me at beingumbliss at yahoo.com or message me on Facebook. I'm on all the social medias and it's all beingumbliss. So um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go there and follow me. I'm bingham underscore bliss. And Facebook is just Bingham Bliss, all one word, with capital Bs. I have them in my description box, so if you guys need to copy and paste, you can do that. But yeah, please message me if you're interested in a machine. That way we can get the ball rolling. Because this machine took me about three and a half weeks to get. So it's not like Amazon where you're going to buy it and get it like in two days. I was so excited to get it, but it took a long time. So it was like a Christmas present. <laughs> oh, good night, Nero. Have a wonderful night. I have to quickly leave this live and send the message. So I'll be right back. All right, Leah, thank you. I wonder what machine she wants. Dang it, I forgot to use the knee lift. <laughs> I gotta keep practicing that. It's funny, I haven't been so new to something in forever like this. literally like starting all over again. But it like once you're going, it just feels like a regular machine. It's not any different. I 
I guess the one thing I do notice is that it feels a lot, obviously it's industrial, so it feels a lot stronger. Like it's just like, what's the word I used earlier? Beefy? It just feels like super strong. Yeah, so I guess I just need to figure out where to oil it. And then I think I have everything figured out. I just have to mess with it and play with it and figure out. I already know I like the settings of the straight stitch at four and a half. That's what I'm keeping it at. Five is the highest you can go, but it's actually not even that big. Like I'll show you once I finish this. So this is actually four and a half, which is five is the biggest you can, or the longest stitch you can go. And I don't know if you can really, let me find a dark spot. So see, like, it's not even that long of a stitch. And that's the longest it goes. Well, four, I'm at four and a half right now. Five is the, the longest stitch length you can go. So... I'm liking that, that length. And then zigzag, I'm gonna have to play around with that. So I don't really know. I don't know what to do with zigzag yet. Ah, I'm gonna try this. I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> I gotta get used to it. It's not hard, it's just, I just keep forgetting. I forgot to backstitch too. Oh well. I'm gonna, st I, I still have to top stitch all these, so. I guess it doesn't matter that bad. I wonder how long my bobbin will last on this. it's pretty big ha huh, I remembered buy a huge roll of sticky stabilizer from United Thread cheaper than what you're paying Amber really how much is yours I would like to know I live in California and got the Burnett B79 next day but the week got the Sunbeam heater December it was background what or back order for manufacturer yeah I don't know why this one took forever There I go, doing it again.
That's so cool. <laughs> that knee lift, it's so fun. That's another bobbin wind while you are sewing. You're doing good learning your machine. Yes, so this is the bobbin winder right here. And then there's a second spool. I don't know if you can see that. Um, right there, there's two of them. So if I put that on here, it'll wind it. And I don't have to unwind everything else or take the thread out or anything. It'll just keep going. So that's really nice, like, feature, I guess, to have. My favorite thing is that it's like flesh with the table. That's so nice that it does that. I've just always wanted that. I'm so scared to go over the pins. I do it all the time on my other machine, but I'm so scared. I think I'm scared because I don't want the, pin, the needle to break. So I don't have to change it. <laughs> it goes fast. You guys, I've already done all these. That's a lot already. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> 20 by 25 yards for $35 for sticky back. Hmm, I don't even know. She just gave me, she just gave me a list of everything that I bought, but I don't remember how much the sticky was and I don't remember how much, how many, how big it was. I have it right here. I just don't have the price. So this one is, oh yeah. What'd you say you got? 20 inches by 25 yards. This one is 19 and a half inches by 10 yards. And I don't know how much this was, but Yours is way more. I'll have to get that info from you too. United Thread, is that what you said? I love that we all like help each other. Aw, good night, Alyssa. Hoping for an industrial sewing machine as my FAF is acting up and we don't have repair shops in the area and no info to be found on Google or YouTube for self-servicing. Oh no, what FAF do you have? Thank you, Sandra. I'm just kind of messing around with it and sewing, sewing this while we talk. Just trying to get it, trying to get anything, anything. Cause I'm not used to it.
<laughs> Hi, Rachel. I'm just, it's not a very like fun and active life. I'm just messing around with my machine. Do you have an empty holes on your machine? Have empty holes. I mean, I have like, Here, I'll show you. Like these. There's one. There's one. There's one. This is a screw. But then I have like these right here. Is that what you're talking about? Heard her talking about the backing as I was waking upstairs. Uh huh. Sorry to keep you. Go night night. I did. I got my machine finally. Quilt Expressions 4.2. It has been working horse workhorse for sure. I have only ever made maybe a dozen or so quilts, but I make parkas and such. So clothes should be a good transition. Clothes are always a good transition. Clothes are fun. I like making clothes, but I only do baby clothes. I have yet to make like any adult stuff. I want to try. I think it would be fun. I just haven't, I guess ever since I have been in business, I haven't had time to do anything other than what my business is, if that makes sense. So all children's stuff is what I do. And I haven't had time to do anything else. I hate these chairs with the like feet things because they get stuck on the desk. They need to make a chair that doesn't have that. I'm gonna try it one more bigger. It says not to do it with the needle in there, so there we go. I think I like it a little bigger. It just looks nicer to me. That's where you oil with a few squirts, oil all the moving parts. Oh, okay. There's a hole on the wheel too. There is right here. This or this? Or this, I don't know. Probably the top hole, huh? Hi, 
Hi, Barbara. Okay, so all these little open holes will oil everything. What about like, there's open holes. So all these little holes on top of here too, on this plate. I feel like those don't go to anything. I feel like those ones don't go to anything. Next to your needle. This one. Okay, so that one I can see where that would go. So weird that my bobbin is under there. There's no, Barbara, there's no pan on this machine. It's really different. Like I'll show you, there's zero pan. There's no pan. It's literally just like that. That's what it looks like. And that's underneath my machine. Let me, hold on, let me, it's easier if I show you like this. Let me turn it this way. So this is what it looks like. I don't know. There's my bobbin underneath there. And that's just it. And it's the top of my machine. Isn't that weird? Hi, Liz. Should be on top of the wheel and under the machine, yes. Top of the wheel is right here, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know all machines have a pan, but this one doesn't have one. There's literally no pan. I'm going to have to call her tomorrow and ask, like, why I don't have a pan. Thank you, Dev. Check me out to be sure you don't put oil in all the holes. Good night, Brenda. Close up to the needle. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. 
Is that better? So is this where I put like some oil right here? No wick either, so you won't need oil in the pan. Yeah, it does, there's no wick, nothing. Like, I talked to Connie earlier, and she was like, that is so strange. She's never seen one like that. But I guess they are trying to make them a lot easier, and so maybe that's why. Um, it didn't come with a pan. It doesn't have a wick, no oil pan, anything. So it's just literally like almost like an at-home machine, but it's an industrial weight and industrial duty, I guess. I don't know. But that's one of the reasons why the late, my salesperson sold me on this one was because it was so easy. Because I told her I just wanted a super simple one. No, it would be closer to the needle, I think. I don't know if you can... Oh, I can zoom in and out like that? That's crazy. I didn't realize I could do that. So, is that better? I wouldn't put oil in anywhere till you're sure. Yeah, I know. I'm going to call her because I don't really know. I was thinking that because when I do it on my other machines, I just do it like on this right here where it goes up and down. See where it goes up and down? That's where I do it. But I'm really, really worried to mess with this machine. The other machines, I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> If I mess it up, I mess it up, but. So. Anyway. Ugh, this chair hurts my back. I thought I would be able to use um, this chair right here with the back on it. I love that chair, but it doesn't allow me to put my legs under this desk so I'm using currently until I get a new one my old cosmetology chair that I did lashes so I used to do like hair extensions and eyelash extensions and so I used to use this chair when I did eyelash extensions so that I could be bent over the client and it is not meant for sewing so if any of you guys have a nice chair you would recommend that would allow me to scoot all the way up and put my legs underneath and not be too high, I like to be low. I would love the information. Look, I have so many needles on here, they're about to fall off. again. I wonder if it's the thread. You guys think it's the thread? You think my thread is not heavy duty enough? It keeps breaking right here.
Somebody said if it keeps breaking or to use this thread, but if it breaks and breaks, then it might not be heavy duty enough for the industrial machine. Is this true? I might have to get different thread. And I don't like that because I like this thread. I can smell the oil. Is that normal? Brenda, this is the Reliable 2300 S as in Sam, Z as in Zebra. I don't want to tell you wrong, but you're doing great. You can tell me I'm doing wrong, whatever you think I'm doing wrong. I don't get my feelings hurt. I'd rather know than sit here and wonder, what am I doing wrong? Are you happy, Amber, with the model that you selected? There are so many out there and every time I think I know what I want, I step away from the decision. I actually think once I get to know this machine, I'm gonna really love it because it is so simple. I don't have to worry about the oil pan. I don't have to worry about the wick. I don't have to worry about a lot of things. It's just like pretty much like an at-home machine, but it's an industrial machine. So it's simplified. Um, and the other thing I forgot to mention about this specific machine is it offers a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. And a lot of machines that are industrial only offer straight stitch. And that was one of my must haves when I ordered this was that I really, really wanted it to have zigzag as well. Um, because that's how I make my waistbands. I do zigzag. I didn't want to have to change everything about that. Um, so if you want, and it's always a good option to have for like the future, even if you only use straight stitch, zigzag stitch is an, a good option to have. So there's only a handful of industrials, I believe that like offer both straight and zigzag. It's kind of like here and there. Uh, there's not that many. So I think I'm going to fall in love with this. I've already fallen in love with it, but I think I'm going to fall more in love with it once I like really figure it out. And I honestly think it keeps breaking because of the thread I'm using. So um, it's a very strong, heavy duty machine. And this thread is good, but it's probably not industrial strength thread. So um, it's not the machine's fault. It's probably my fault because I've already adjusted the tension. I've already adjusted the length and everything on it, so I don't think it's the machine's fault. I think it's my fault or the thread's fault, if that makes sense. It's a nice machine. Didn't know that you get industrial with zigzag and straight stitch together. Yeah, I actually thought it was only straight stitch. There's only very limited amount of industrial machines that offer both and that was one of my must-haves was that I really really wanted to have both so sorry I'm just looking at messages right here on my phone I 
I couldn't use the pins, it would, I couldn't use the pins, it would drive me nuts. I used cones from Joann's and they didn't break. Smell oil. <laughs> and the Juki Industrial Machines, your needle threads from the left to the right. So the hole on the needle, you mean, Esther? My hole's in the front. Did it come with a walking foot for your blankets? I love your machine. No, um, I didn't purchase a walking foot on this machine because I do my blankets on my other machine. So this machine is specifically for like my, what I'm doing, my bibs and burp cloths and then like waistbands and putting the tags. So my sewing my tags on and just anything to do with straight stitcher zigzag uh, besides my blankets. I have my, the Janome is my blanket machine that's what i use my that machine for so each machine has their own like duty <laughs> sometimes when the tension is tight on the top of the okay Did you find anything, Brenda? I don't know if it's the same with this machine, but normally the needle hole is sideways. Also, if your knob is on five, it means stitch if I'm only. Yeah, so that's the biggest it goes. Um, this, I didn't change the needle. This is how it came. And um, it is just like a regular placement of a needle. Like the, the hole is facing towards me like it would on any other machine. I didn't know if it was, I didn't change that yet. So that's how it came. Industrial needle is different. The shape is different. That's why threading left to right. Yeah. Yeah, she gave me the needles to go with it. These are the needles she gave me to go with it. They're just the organ needles. 9014 is what she said. They look just like the ones I use for the embroidery machine. This machine might just be different altogether. I don't know. Try the tension on top of a sewing machine can cause it to break. I already adjusted this because it was really tight and so I did adjust it and it's a lot better now. Are you talking about this? Love you. But your stitch is smaller than five milliliters. I know, I thought so too. That's what I said. This, can you see that? Is it focusing? So that doesn't look like the longest stitch. So I don't know what's happening. Cause I mean, that definitely doesn't look that big. But when I did the other stitches, it looked I don't know. I was like, look at these ones. These are my practice stitches. Look how small those are. These are my practice ones. <laughs> so those look more like five. I wonder if it's because I'm sewing with the fleece. Maybe it needs to be looser. Like, why would I do that? What would I adjust this for? 
That's the tension. Should I adjust this tension? I don't want to mess with it. I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, I have Grossbecker. That's what I normally, I think I have them for my other machine, my Janome. Watch the replay you slightly are pulling back on your fabric. The hole above the needle cuts the thread. Ask me, I do it and mine breaks when I don't fight the balloon machine. Okay. I'll try. Am I doing it all the time on every one? I don't know. I mean, it looks fine on here, but well, I don't know. Not too sure. I'm not sure what's happening. Does the needle drop? You know how I do my heel and the needle will go up automatically? Does it also automatically go down instead of having to pull, pull the knob? I was trying to pay attention to see where you saw me pulling it. I don't know. Don't adjust anything until you spoke with your dealer. Yeah, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> Looks like having features of a domestic machine in the body of an industrial. That's exactly what my seller, the my salesperson said that it is an industrial machine with the features of an easy, simple at-home machine. And I liked that because I already knew how to use an at-home machine and I just like the simplicity of it because knowing like all the things that goes into an industrial machine kind of freaked me out a little bit. So I'm just looking at everything while I'm talking to you guys. I checked the instructions on the Sewing Machine Plus website for your machine and if you look at page two, it shows you how to oil it and page three talks about the needle and thread. Hope this helps. Yeah, 
Um, the only thing is the manual. Let me just show you. <laughs> it's like black and white. And it's really hard to like just figure out like what it is talking about. So all of these points right here are oils. So So it's I'm looking at it right here. So I'm guessing I put oil in this one. There's two over here. Or three over here, yeah. And then this one. And then these two in here. I'm guessing those two big ones. There's a lot of places to put oil in this thing. Also apply a drop of oil to all other oil and plates down the marks. Keep oil pad A. Where's A? A oil pad. Under arm top cover saturated with oil. Keep oil pad A under arm top. I don't know, guys. I'm guessing this is, is this the arm top right here, this whole thing? So it says oil, A oil pad. And I'm guessing there may, that means keep this whole thing up here saturated with oil. So just always put oil in the top of this. Yeah, that's going to be a whole other deal tomorrow that I'll have to figure out. I don't want to sit here and try to figure it out with you guys on here. I'll have to do that another time. But it's already oiled. It came oiled. She said it comes oiled, ready to go. So I'll have to figure that out another time. Hey, Nellie, thank you. Threads front to back, F16 in your manual, page 6. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did. Pretty sure I did that right. Thank you, Patty. I'm so excited about it. That's what I thought, Nelly. I thought it was like super quiet compared to other machines. When you manipulate the curve all the ways, push never. The curve all, always push. Lever pull back towards you. Ah, hi Shana. <laughs> I'm back on here, just trying to figure this out and mess with it, cause. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Trying to figure out like the settings on here. So the oil I'm going to have to figure out another time because 
That's just the whole new deal. But you guys, I'm getting so tired. What time is it? All right, I'll get 10 more minutes and then I'm going right to bed. So, this thing, you guys said just slides. I'm going to have to figure out how to change my bobbin because I don't know how to do that either. Good night. Good night, Patty. Thanks for being here. There's grooves in the needle. Always faces back of the machine so it threads front to back. There's grooves in the needle. Always faces the back of the machine. Yes, it's facing the back. Yeah, it's facing the back. Trying to figure out or get used to this whole knee thing is different. What happened now? Now, something else happened. Maybe, I don't know, it's weird. I guess nothing happened. I don't know. It started getting all weird and then it stopped. Yeah, something's wrong. Maybe. <laughs> you guys never thought you'd see me in this situation, did you? Everyone has first time with everything. It's not this, it's my bobbin now. All right, I guess we get to play with the bobbin because <sighs> the bobbin is now not working. So, do you have to turn your machine off to play with your bobbin? Or what? You remove and in 
insert the bobbin by going under the table. Well, the reason why that happened was because I'm out of thread. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> Can't really sew if you don't have any thread. Okay, so we get to test this. I don't really know how to use this. I've never done it before. So let's see, what do we do here? Where's my manual? Okay. Place bobbin on bobbin winder, pushing it on as far as it will go. Pre-tension, more tension. Push a latch in the direction indicated by the arrow. There is no arrow. I don't even have these figures in here. It goes from figure five, and then they don't have anything on here. Literally, guys. Like, am I missing something? <laughs> like, look. Figure four. I don't know if you can see that. It goes from... Figure four, figure five, and I'm assuming figure six and seven should be over here. And then it goes to figure eight, like figure eight down here. So I'm missing figure six and seven. What a crack of, ugh. <laughs> That's crazy. They totally missed a page in here. So I'm going to have to guess. Hey, Nikki. I don't turn off the machine changing my Juki bobbin. Take your foot off the pedal. It is midnight. Yes, it is midnight. <laughs> I guess I'm going to, can you Google it? I can, but I'm on my phone right now. So I'm just gonna try it and see what happens. Let's just try it. This is the one I couldn't find. There it 
There it is. I have an old school jerky left limb, so I'm no help, but I can Google it. <laughs> you can if you want. You don't have to. This is where I can't see, so I have to go around the, the back of the machine. So now I see where it would be helpful to have the other thread in the back. Do you have to like hook it to anything? I don't know guys, we're gonna see if this works. Like, how does it know? That's the machine, not... Well, that's much nicer. Like I was caught on something. Does the bobbin ma knob move? Like, I don't know what to put it to. It's just so weird. There's got to be something it like connects to. I don't know. Put your lever up. It's up. That's how it was. Unthread your needle. Yes, lever up and unthread. You have to unthread it? Okay. What do I do with this? Here, I'm gonna... Whoa. 
Hold on. Can you guys see that? Let me turn it around the other way. So I don't know if it goes through here. The thread will go to the back and wrap clockwise. Like that. Good night, Shirley. Thanks for being here. Figure seven. Yeah, I don't have figure seven on here. That's what I was saying. It's literally missing a page. Like, look. It goes figure four, figure five. Figure six and seven should be right here. Because then the next page, it has figure eight right here. And then this is all the information for how to thread it. But there's nothing on that page. It's They literally missed a whole section. So I'm basically like trying to figure this out. Yeah, page four. There's nothing on it. Figure four and figure five. They missed it. There is nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Literally looks like that. So I'm just going to have to mess with it, I guess, and try to figure it out. So I'm assuming you just like, I would think you would just push it. I don't know. That's the needle. I wonder if it goes backwards. Nope. So weird. <laughs> you guys. No, Brenda, I have page four, but they're missing. Look, it's missing. They didn't print it. Page four, figure five, figure four. There's no figure six or seven on here. Because in the next page, it shows figure eight and nine. Figure eight, figure nine, and ten. They're missing the figure... Six and seven. This model is the Reliable 2300 SZ. Yeah, let me look, Jana. Can you believe that, that they didn't print that on there? That's crazy. You guys are so helpful, thank you.
to wind the bobbin. Threading the pretension for the bobbin winding. So you go through that. One through there. Through there, through there. And then to that, two and three. Huh. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm totally missing that whole page right there. Let me see. So. But why does, I wonder why it keeps like doing the needle I wonder if you have to do it separately if I have to take the whole thing out because if this has to be on here too or wound through here, then I have to take the thread out for the needle. The whole, I have to unwind, unthread the whole thing. That doesn't make sense. It should not have to do that. You know what, you guys? I'm just gonna thread one over here because that's crazy. I'm gonna have to figure it out another time. So I'm just gonna go over here and thread this sucker over here. I'll be right back. Or not, this isn't gonna fit on here. Ah! <laughs> Going over here, I'll be right back. See if it works on this one. A problem. I'm gonna have to figure it out because it doesn't fit on my other machines. It only fits on this one. Okay. Well, my machine is officially unthreaded. Machine will sew as you sew and wind at the same time. To wind the bobbin, unthread the needle. I did. I have to go start the day. We'll catch the replay. Good, have a good day. Industrial bobbins don't fit on regular ones. I know, I just tried them all. I'm like, what the heck? Keep flipping the page. You were doing it right. Okay, let me try it again. Well, now I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do this one. It says to go through these.
Can you guys see what I'm doing? I don't know. We'll see. Nope. What the heck, you guys? It should just lock in right there. I mean, it makes sense, but it's not doing it. I don't know, guys. This is irritating. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Wonder if it's nope. It's so weird. Like what is happening? There has to be like a button or something I'm totally missing. To push the latch. Yeah, I did. It's just not. You guys, it's defeating me tonight. <laughs> it's so defeating me tonight. I don't know what to do. It's not working. This also looks different than my machine, so I wonder if this machine is just new and they don't have like the correct thing on it. Because this looks different than the one in the manual. I mean, I think it's just like all the same, but this thing is different. I wonder if my bobbin winder will work on, I have a separate bobbin winder that I got with my embroidery machine. I wonder if that would work.
Because I'm doing everything it's saying and it's not working. Does it take the same bobbin as your multi needle? My Juki and multi needle embroidery use both the same bobbin. I bought a million of them. Push down. It doesn't do anything. It's now winding, which is weird. A little bit, but it's not doing anything. So something is kind of right. I don't know guys, this is crazy. Is it supposed to sew while it's bobbing? Doing the bobbing? So it's winding now. It's winding at like halfway. <laughs> Except, I don't know what it's doing. It's like all, it's doing this. Can you see that? It's like all uneven. So I'm wasting all this, but you know what? I don't care. Okay, so I think I figured out how to wind it. Now I need to figure out why it wasn't going even. In front, I'm guessing. Let's see if this works. How about that? Is that normal? For it to be sewing like that while I'm winding a bobbin?
It's so off, you guys. It's ridiculous. Like, what is happening? <laughs> I just have to laugh because I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Look. Like, why is it doing that? It's just all messy. I don't know. <laughs> it should not be sewing while loading the bobbin. That's how my other machines are. They stop while I'm loading. I don't know what is happening. <laughs> I, need to, I need to like research this and figure it out. Because this is ridiculous, the way it looks. It's like a preschooler did this. That is crazy. I mean, at least I can get it to, like, wind now. But I can't put this in my machine. <laughs> oh, you guys. How am I going to use this thing? I'm going to have to lay in bed and watch videos. Whoops. <sighs> well, this is my testing cone, I guess. We can call it that. Domestic machines, you will disengage the needle. You don't on industrials. Commercial machines will sew and wind the bobbin at the same time. The manual says to turn the pretension knob to fix the unevenness. Pretension knob. This one right here, yeah. Yeah, it says to turn it pre-tension, more tension, less tension. So I need to do it to the plus side. So the plus is going right. Okay. I wonder if I have to go around this disc twice. You know how you have to go around the thing twice when you embroider? I wonder if you have to go around this twice. I'm going to try that and see. I don't know. We'll check it out. We'll try it. better.
Can you guys see this now? It's ridiculous. I mean, at least I'm getting it to wind now, but it's still like super uneven. It's better, but I'm still like, it's not good. So. Yes, I'm wasting this entire thread because turn the pre-hitch on the fix. I did that, Nikki, and it still didn't work. So I just gotta keep messing with it. So trial and error. Come on. What time is it where you guys are? Is it late? Have I already been on here for three hours? We've been doing nothing. I'm just unwinding this and wasting all this thread. If you know me, you know I'm not a waster, but in these situations, this is how you learn. The flip letter will allow more thread or less. Yeah. Thread the bobbin through the top. What do you mean through the top? Like up here? It shows it underneath. I have this thing. I wonder if this will work. But this is embroidery thread. So pretty sure you can't use embroidery thread. It 
If this is this frustrating, I would rather just not even deal with it. But let me just tell you, I go through this all the time with different machines. Like when I got my my 10 needle and I couldn't figure out like the automatic feature versus the applique feature. And there was basically nothing in the manual for that. I had to figure it out. It took me weeks to figure that out. And then the day I figured it out, it was like, aha, like what the heck? So I'm sure that this is going to happen. I'm just going to randomly do something and then it'll be like, really? It was that simple? So that always happens to me. If this even fits on here. Oh, it does fit on there. So I think I'm just going to do that. So, good night, Shayna. Can you think of slow and steady when it races? <laughs> There's a hole in the bobbin case. You have to go through the top hole? I've never done that. I'm going to try it. got all messed up. People that are going to randomly watch this, they're going to give me thumbs down because this is so boring. <laughs> keeps breaking. Ah! <laughs> you guys, I'm beyond frustrated with this.
I give up. I give up tonight. I don't give up. I give up tonight. I'm going to try this thing and see if it works. I might just use this thing because it's easy. I keep dropping my thing. I'm gonna put you guys this way so you can see me over here. Dang, we messed with that thing for a while. there I've never used this one either like maybe one time but I don't even know if I did it because I just get the pre-wound ones that's what I use normally so Okay, I just goes through there once. Got it. Okay. Okay, guys, this better work. Or else I'm going to be very upset. That's fast. <laughs> wow, that is so fast. You guys are like, she's wasting so much thread. I am, actually. But that's okay. practice somehow.
Holy cow, you guys. That's so fast. What the heck is happening? Maybe it's time to go to bed. I think it's time to go to bed. <laughs> and recoup because I'm doing everything wrong tonight. I have made zero accomplishments. That's not true. I learned how to use my machine, sewing wise. I didn't learn how to use it in other ways, but. Now you guys get to see my struggle. This is unusual, but in the beginning when I taught myself how to sew, I did it all the time. This is how I learned. And this is how you learn. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am taking the thread off of this reel or this bobbin. I make up my own words, if you guys have not noticed. I always make up my own words for things. I can't believe I cannot figure this out. It's like getting to me. I'm cutting it out because there's so much thread in there. And it did it in literally like 1.5 seconds. <laughs> mm. On another note, I have a video for you guys that I recorded yesterday. It's all jammed in here, that's why I'm doing this. It's a good thing I got 20 extra spools because when I figure out how to do it, I'm gonna do them all at the same time. So I don't have to go through this again. Okay, that's done. You guys, I like literally don't know what to do because if I can't figure this out, I can't sew because I don't have a bobbin. The bobbin. Let's see. Through the hem. Can't you wind it on your old machine? No, it doesn't fit on my old machine. I tried doing that. Oof. I feel you, almost had it, don't give up, you got this. <laughs> I know, I think it's just tonight, like I like just tried everything tonight. 
Exactly. Thread's cheap. I'll practice with it. I don't care. Do you still have it wrapped around twice? It only needs to go around once. I did. Thank you, Nancy. I think I saw that pop up. I'll have to watch that. You have to use one of the holes in the bottom. Look at the link from Nancy B's. You place it in the hole and wrap it a few times. Then the hole. <laughs> yeah, yes, Mia, I'm still alive. <laughs> Yes, Mia, I'm trying to wind the bobbin and I can't figure it out. Where do you get that big embroidery thread roll? Um, I got it from Sewing Machines Plus. This is an embroidery thread. So this is a huge one. This I got this when I first started embroidery because I thought that I would wind my own bobbins until I figured out that I didn't want to wind them. And I got pre-wound bobbins. So I've never used this. Thanks for making me feel good, Maria, because tonight I am not good at anything, apparently. This is the one it came with in the machine. And it came with empty ones. It didn't come with pre-filled ones. So I'm stuck and I have to figure out how to wind this or I can't sew with it. So... Okay, let me look at that video real quick. This thing is missing some pages, so yeah, not happy about that. Nancy, where'd you send it to? My email or Instagram? Let me check my email. I'm going to turn this thing off. Go that way. Okay, here it is. You guys are so sweet. Thank you for sending me these videos to figure this out. Bobbin winding, this one, okay. So what is your name? Karen Gwynn Customs.
Okay. Ah. Colors can be sketched, tie-dyed, or even stretched. Whether you prefer hot and soft. Okay, I did that. Yep. Ah, that's what you guys were talking about. See, mine doesn't go all the way that way.
seems tight. Why is it so different? See, okay, she didn't go all the way underneath. She just went up underneath. You guys, <laughs> I can't believe I'm watching a video with you guys on here right now. This is crazy. Come on. Okay. I think it's gonna work. I just didn't hold it. Like she was holding it. So I think I just need to hold it. She's also like putting her finger on it to help it, I guess. See, and she also has her lover the other way, but Mine doesn't wind unless it's backwards. I don't know, guys. It's like twirling on that.
under? Did she go under or? See, it's really weird, like right here. Her thing is facing forward, but mine doesn't wind when it's forward. Is that weird? It's like they put it on backwards. Good morning, Char. I'm trying to figure out my machine and I can't figure it out. It's literally like they put it on backwards. It's like if it is this way and I have it on top of here, it only winds the top. If it's underneath, it only winds the underneath. That is why it needs to be going this way. But you see it doesn't tighten or anything when it's that way. It doesn't do anything. literally like they put it on backwards. better than it's been, but it's still not good at all. I wonder if I should try to like, I don't know what to do. This is supposed to be the other way. So it's better, but it's not still not great. See how it's like wavy? I don't know if I can even sew with that. Yeah, it did, except for it's missing a page. It missed out like 
two diagrams. So these sweet ladies have sent me like YouTubes to try to like figure it out, but I can't figure it out. And I think this is actually on backwards. It's supposed to be, you know, it's, it, it's only going this way. I mean, it could be me user error. I mean, it probably is, but I need to figure it out. Cause now I ran out of bobbin thread and I can't sew without bobbin thread. So I'm gonna try to put this in here and see if it works, at least for now. I'm sure it's like all other machines where you're like, oh, I hate threading. And then you get so so fast at it. Like I can literally thread my other machines so fast. Where are my twizzer, tweezers? My twizzers? <laughs> my tweezers when I need them. Feels so tight. Connie said it would feel tight like that though. So. Okay, let's see. Got my bobbin. All right, girls. I don't know if there's guys on here, but girls and guys. All right, guys, hopefully this works. I don't know. I mean, it looks fine, but I don't know.
think when I mess with this, with the bobbin, it got all messed up. Boo. Yes, could you flip that piece out all like upwards and then down where it has been in the video? I don't know. This whole thing is completely backwards because the way she had it was, it was, it's backwards, you guys. I'm telling you, it's backwards. It doesn't make sense the way it is because the reason why it's going like, uneven on the bobbin is because this thing right here is in the way of the thread. It needs to be in the front. That way the the thread can go up and down and up and down. It's not, it. this is in the way for it to be able to do it evenly. So that's why it's not even. And even if I do my finger and like push it up and down, it's still, the thread gets caught underneath of it. So it's like, I don't know if they put it on wrong, I think they did. But now, because I messed with this thing, my tension's off. And I just broke my thread. <laughs> ah, you guys. Tonight is not my night. I think that's better. There. Ugh. I'm learning. You guys, some things are just difficult. But I honestly think that it's, this is wrong. It doesn't make sense. I wish you could just snap your fingers and it'd be in the needle. I'm gonna have to watch her video again, like over and over again. Okay, let's try it again and see if the tension is okay. Cause I think I jacked the tension up.
But that's not a huge deal. I know how to fix that. I think it's good. Yeah, the tension's fine. Good, it's a little tight, but it's good. Did you have a standalone bomb and winder? I do, I have one for my embroidery machine, but it, it wasn't doing it right either. More about the camera. Uh, Fiona, it's the 2300 SZ. I tried, Francis. I tried to put it on my other machine, even my Janome, but it wouldn't fit on there. <laughs> yeah, that's backwards. It shouldn't be in that way. So how do I fix that, Nikki? How do I fix it? Where's your machine manual? I have my machine manual right here, but they didn't print out the diagram frames or the fig the the pictures they didn't print those out in my manual they missed a page so yeah I wouldn't think that the manual would show you how to do it do you think the machine I need is to hold it off I feel it's wrong to tell them to take some money off your bill, right? I need to call her tomorrow. Yeah, that's why I was so confused, you guys. I was like literally feeling like an idiot. I'm like, why what am I doing wrong? Like I it's I think it's wrong. Good night, Nancy. Thanks for helping. Just gonna message them. I'm uh, I would try to fix it myself, but uh, yeah. I know I always try to fix it myself too, but it's backwards for sure. It's almost like like this just needs to be like flipped around. I wonder if that's the case. I don't know. Should I try it? <laughs> Was her... So see, this thing is on the inside of her thing. Yeah, 
It's on wrong. Unless it's just not tight enough. It doesn't fit. I'm trying to do like construction over here. I have an idea. If I wind it going in the front instead of in the back, it's the same thing. I'm going to try that. I do this like from the back. I have to like go around the back and do it. All right, guys. I think this might work actually. And if it does, then this will be my like, seriously, why didn't I think of that? to do it through here. My eyes are starting not to work because I'm getting tired. This is called passion, trying not to give up. Don't give up, you guys. If my husband woke up, he'd come out here and be like, what are you doing? So. Let's see here. I don't know, actually, if it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work, you guys.
it's just stuck on the bottom. And now it's stuck on the top. You guys. Yeah, it's all sorts of jacked up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Well, I don't really know, you guys. What do y'all think? I think it's on wrong. Yeah, it's up. We're trying to fix the the bobbin. It's not winding. I think my thing's on wrong. Yes, I think so. Look, this is okay. So if I'm looking at the machine, look at it. it's backwards. Hers is in the front. Hers is like this, but look at how loose it is. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't, it's not tight. If I go backwards, that's when it gets tight. So it's literally like put on backwards. You see? No, it doesn't, so no matter which way, because like if it's backwards, see, it, there, there's all this space back here for it to go up and down. That's why it's supposed to be, if I put it in the front, it's getting stuck underneath this thing right here. Can you unscrew the lever at the top, which is facing the wrong way, and replace it back? I'm pointing towards you instead of the back of the machine, and then I will put Karen's video. I was going to try that. Can you pull the lever around towards you so it's facing the right way? I mean, I can, but it's... Did you see how floppy it is? Like, it's literally, like, floppy. It doesn't get tight at all this way. Like... If I do that, it it doesn't do anything. If I go this way, it locks in place. So it's upside down, I think. I don't know. Good night, Erica. It's probably also upside down. The knob isn't on backwards. It's what tightens it. Yeah, so I was trying to tighten these. Is it this that you tighten? I don't know. Unscrew it and turn it upside down. OK. 
Okay, hold on. Let me let me try it. Now it's tighter. I wonder if I just had to tighten it. And it got tighter and See if that worked. I think that worked. Moving up and down now. I don't know if you guys can see it. This part. These are big bobbins. That worked, you guys. It was just not tight. So I'm just going to leave it just like that. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> like, look how much better. Can you guys see that? So much better. What a difference. Like, I guess I just had to screw it tighter. I don't know, that's weird. But I'm not gonna touch it. It's just gonna stay like that. So now do I leave this in here? I'm just gonna take it out. I'm gonna leave it. I don't wanna mess with it. Okay. What time is it? You guys, I said I was going to bed at midnight. It is now almost two o'clock.
but this is what I do to myself every day. <laughs> But yes, I do think I need to get heavier thread. So you guys, what thread do you suggest for me with this machine? Because I sew clothing. So I want, it's children's clothing. So I need a soft thread. All I've ever used is the Guterman thread, so I'm not experienced with other thread. Ah, I hate threading. These are my normal hours. It's nice to have some sewing buddy tonight. I use the maxi lock from Womack. Oh my, just in case you missed something. <laughs> you were looking for the parts online. You're so cute. You're like, ah, she's gonna jack it up. <laughs> uh, give us a close up of what it looks like now. I wanna see it compared to the picture. Okay. So that's what it looks like. That's how it worked and I'm not touching it. I'm looking at the at a picture of the lever goes in the back. Okay, well wasn't working in the back. That's weird. I'm reading picture or comments. Sorry. Doesn't match. How can I send the picture to you? Um, Denise, you can email me at being at yahoo.com or you can do Instagram. If you're on Instagram, you can message me through there. So yeah, this is me standing up at my machine looking at it. So this is the front of my machine. Is it supposed to be the other way around? That's what I thought. Okay. So it's supposed to be back here. Like that. But then the thread like just didn't When I did it like this, the thread was getting stuck underneath here and it wouldn't go up and down. And then if I brought it to the front, it was getting stuck under here. So this is, now I have to tighten it again. And it worked that way. So I guess if it works, I don't know. Yeah, send me that picture, please, so I can see it. But 
for now. I'm going to keep it this way because it worked for me. See, hers is like that. That's how hers is. Not touching it. Hmm. This is how hers is. On the on the video, that's how hers is. Like that. Who knows? I'm going to call my salesperson tomorrow morning and ask her because I want to ruin it, but it did not work the other way. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Although hers is more towards the front, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know. You guys are troopers though for being on here with me during all this. I'm gonna try another one and see if it works okay. And then I think I'm gonna go to bed because it's late.
it still freaks me out that this right here, sorry, you guys were just watching me the whole time. This piece right here is like floppy. So I guess I love everything about this machine except for the bobbin winding, which I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out eventually. I always end up finding, figuring it out. It's just, uh, I messed with the tension too when I was trying to wind the bobbin. So now it's all messed up. Cause I used to be able to just pull it out really easily and now it's tighter. Is it this that's maybe tight? Or what's this for? I don't want to mess with stuff. It just feels so tight. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I wasted so much thread tonight. <laughs> when you move the lever, does it make the bobbin move over to engage also? It like moves it and then it moves it back because it's not tight. So when I leave it like that, after I tightened it, then it's fine and it is like over enough to where it's gonna wind it. I just think that that is a malfunction piece. So I need to call them. So, okay, to loosen it, this is tension to loosen it. The top left is your presser foot. Presser foot, okay. I don't need to worry about that one. This one, I feel like it's so tight. It's fine there. Better.
think that's better. It's so in smoother. See when I pull it, it's not, it's not as loose as it used to be. When I first got it and I pulled it out, it wouldn't do that. It would um, pull it nicely. So I don't know if it's like. If I like maybe didn't thread it right or something. I mean, it's sewing fine. It's just that one piece that when I pull it out at the end. Because this is fine. That's good. It's this one, I think. I don't know. I think it's just going to be a work in progress, you guys. I'm going to have to keep practicing <laughs> for sure. It doesn't match. I think whoever assembled the machine put it on upside down. I agree. Denise, the picture looks like it had the lever on the left. Are you tutoring us on something on Monday? If so, what's the project? Yes. Um, are you lifting the presser foot up when you pull? Yes, the presser foot's lifted up right now. And I just feel like when I tug on it, the needle is going to like, it's like bending if I pull too tight. So I think it's this. Where is my, my calendar's right here. Let's see, what are we doing? What's today? The 23rd? Connie is doing a scarf bib-ish thing on Sunday. I'm doing boy shorts. Boy shorts. And I was planning on being able to use this machine. So hopefully I can figure it out by then. If not, I'll be just using my regular brother machine. Which thread is tight? The bobbin thread or the spool thread? The, the spool. It's, so let me show you. Connie's YouTube is Scandies, S-C-A-N-D-E-E-Z. So see when I pull, see how I'm tugging just a little bit and my needle is like moving? It's tight. But when I pull this, 
it's coming right through. So I feel like it's this, maybe. I don't really know though. Because it's just like tight. On the website is a zigzag sewing machine. Is that the one that you're looking at or the straight stitch? Yeah, this one is a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. Do you have a knee lift? If so, lift the presser foot when you pull. Use your hand, turn the wheel at the end of the machine and lift the needle slightly. Okay, so that maybe releases it. I thread mine through the needle on the left. See, mine doesn't, mine's the front loader. It doesn't have, look, it's like in the front right there. So it's just a regular, like, just like a regular needle. I don't know guys, but I think I'm gonna call it a night because I'm tired and I don't really know what I'm doing with this machine. So I'm gonna have to probably mess with it tomorrow, play with it a little bit more. Maybe I'll get back on so we can do it again. <laughs> play with it again, I don't know, we'll see. But I had fun with you guys tonight, and I hope that you guys enjoyed your night with me, even though you guys taught me lots tonight. I'm going to turn this off. There we go. No? I don't know how to turn this thing off, guys. <laughs> so many new things in here tonight. There we go. Just hold the button down. That's a pretty nice light that it comes with though. Super nice. But the back, the black knob in the front is the tension. Yes. Mine is the jack, but they're all quite similar I found when threading. Okay. I'm going to go watch some YouTube videos and see what I can't figure out. And hopefully we, when we talk again, I'll have some answers. Hopefully, because I need to figure this out. I have so much to sew. I've been waiting and piling it up for when I got this machine. So... I need to like learn it so that I can just use it. I also need to figure out what all these buttons mean. So I need to figure out where to oil it. I need to figure out all of it. So, <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I know. I think that's the thing. Whenever I, um, can't figure something out or if I'm starting to mess up or make mistakes, it's time to go to bed and then you redo it tomorrow and then it's literally like, boom, like you get it right away after that. So just call it a night and go again tomorrow. I did a video filming my with oil and it was a mess. I mentioned you in my video. <laughs> I'll have to watch it. Tonight everyone will be up sewing. Kim Bain. We 
Reliable has a bobbin video on their YouTube channel. Oh, good, Cindy. Or Sonia, thank you. I'm going to go lay down and watch these videos because I need to figure this out because it's literally, I'm sure you guys understand, like it gets to you when you can't figure it out and you just have to like mess with it and figure it out. That's how I am. So anyway, I will see you guys all maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. I don't know. Maybe Monday. Monday for sure. Monday for sure. I'll be on Monday night. But until then, I'm going to mess with this machine and I just wanted to say thank you guys for being here with me and trying to figure this out with me. So have a good night. Don't stay up too late because it's already morning time. But anyway, thank you guys again. Love you all so much. Have a good night and I'll see you again soon. Bye.